Okay? There's a lot of correlation there. Now, I'm not saying that's true. Okay? And I don't, I don't favor that thought. That if you take these things, and let me tell you why, because chapter 9 is good. 9 is going to get really difficult this way. When you, people just don't want to believe. They're, they're, they're a little more open to hail. They're a little more open to thunder and lightning. Right? Uh, islands and mountains moving? Well, we know about platelets, right? Tectonics, plate tectonics, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I can probably get with that. Asteroids, yeah, I can look at them. Grasshoppers that sting you like scorpions that don't kill you, but eat flesh. Um, nah, that's got to be symbolic. So we got to go find something that fits the picture, right? That's what they do. Now, why? Most of the commentators that I trust say, why is it? One minute you're fully accepting a literal translation. The structure just goes right into chapter 9. Steel trumpets, right? But, you know, last three. Uh, you're told, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the last verse in 8. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're going to be bad. It's going to go from judgment on the world, the earth, the environment, and become more judgment, supernatural judgment, and they can't believe that God can lose something from somewhere on this earth that we don't know about that's going to be supernatural and, 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 and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Alien to us. Hey, very alien to us, but I mean, have we seen a fallen angel lately? <laughs> David news came out that uh, yeah. they've proven that uh, we have our brains have shrunk by ten percent. Maybe the Lord's uh, making us less. We have to go by faith and not by proof. That they said it's ten percent. We don't have to think. It's shrinking. Our last lack of. Well, maybe that's part of his uh, blindness. Well, that's they say that's why the savants, you know, that they're using more of their brain than we are, and that's why they can do what they can do. In fact, just recently, the uh, young man that uh, Dustin Hoffman did passed away. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him uh, on TV being interviewed. Boy, was that awesome. I don't know those skills, but like I say, just photograph and memory of everything he'd ever lost. Yeah. Who was that you're talking about? This Savant Rain. that Dustin and Rank would have been. Oh, Rank. Right. Right. Oh, right. yeah. There was that was based on an actual person. And I saw him being interviewed. They took him to some university and they had uh, several people ask him questions, you know, like uh, I was born on such such a day and he just started you know, you know, the way he did, like Dustin Hoffman did, and he just started blurting out. Yeah. There was the movie of the year, and da 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 da, da, da just reeling all these things out, you know. So, <clears throat> anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. I, I went and looked it up uh, on the Chernobyl thing, and Dave Verily, there's some people think, you know, it's still burning. They were not able to put that reaction out. They keep pouring concrete on top of it to keep it capped, but it's still burning. And some people believe, I don't believe it's true, that it could get down to the a level of water table that would then spread the warm wood uh, eastward or westward. But that's what some people are theorizing. Okay. And, I, and I say I don't think that can happen. Of course, they could be giving us misinformation, too. They, 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 created a circle and drilled and keep taking water samples and they believe it's not spreading anymore. Pick up for what it be. Uh, don't, don't get, I, I, I guess the reason I showed that is I don't want you to get, if you read some of this anywhere in books or in papers or articles on the web or whatever, there's a lot of people that are going off on these tangents and you can really get kind of messed up. You really can. And uh, just kind of focus back. I can tell you the more conservative pastors, teachers, and that, um, they look at this, these trumpets and what's talked about as being literal. 
They do not believe it's symbolic. Okay. Now I'm going to show you some symbolism. Um, when I say that, let me caveat that because if you'll remember, in the past I've talked about some things that are correlated to. I'm going to show you. Uh, remember, I talked about the can. Okay, I've got that video. I've got it ready for <coughs> chapter nine. Okay, and it talks about the can relating to the smoke, fire, and brimstone. Okay, and the locust relating to Islam. Okay, and it's worth talking about because there's very specific uh, correlations. Okay, so I, I don't want to bypass that without going through that with you. Meaning that <clears throat> just as the Egyptian has a very close correlation to these uh, judgments, so the Roman Empire and what was going on in the time of John had some close correlation, but it also has a meaning of end times because we know that wasn't end times, and the Revelation is talking about end time events. So you got to kind of keep that in mind. Don't go crazy with it, but I'm going to show you several, like seven or eight events um, that I wasn't aware, uh, but Chris, Christianity in respect to the Roman Catholic and the Orthodox, Orthodox Christian Church in Constantinople. Remember, they split. There's two. Pope in the East, Pope in the West, sort of thing. And um, there is some real correlation to that, and it's worth looking at. Kind of interesting, too. Which brings me uh, to verse 12, right? Okay, the fourth angel blew the trumpet. And a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day was without light, and the night was well. Okay. What is this kind of describing? Matthew 24, 9 says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not shed its light, and the stars will fall, fall from the sky and the celestial powers will be shaken. That was Jesus' own words. <coughs> so what do we think is happening here? I think the earth is shifting, <coughs> shaking, and great plumes of smoke are going into the atmosphere and blocking off our able to vision to see stars and all. And, uh, okay, we've got to remember the seven-year timeline here. And we're at the, at the end times. So all those asteroids and everything, we're talking real time. Because they're not going to, the effects of those are not going to be dissipated by the time we get here. There's no way. A third of the earth burnt, right? Um, <clears throat> the, the after effects of the asteroids, Smoke burning mountains, whatever that Ash is. <laughs> yeah. So you can imagine. <clears throat> Um, some people said, oh, it's going to cause the earth to start spinning faster. <laughs> so you're going to lose. Your days are going to be quicker. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, that, that was one of the theories. Okay. Let me just say, I think what uh, the, most of the commentators say is there's going to be so much smoke and things in the atmosphere that your sunrise is going to be obscure, right? Because mm -hmm. the clouds are over there blocking the sun, and it's going to obscure the night. So you may not be able to see things except right overhead kind of thing. So you're going to lose a third here and a third there, that kind of thing. I think that's what's going on here. Okay. All right. Uh, now, if you lose, let's talk about it. If you lose everything so far that's been described, what do you think the living conditions on the earth are going to be? <laughs> You'll be able to go to your grocery store and pick up some fresh. Anything? Uh, <laughs> 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 